series. We gotta we gotta knock out another World Heroes game. Ray, Ray. Wow, Peaches, it's a new record. Yo, Staccato Sharp, thank you for the 25 months. I will try to keep it up. No, nah, fuck that, Dr. Jordo. I, I just want any ending. How many stages is this? I don't even... One, two, three, four, five, six, nine? I think it's nine. Why did I write white? Why did I write races on the goal? Whatever. Um. When in doubt, just say finish. Finish the game on one credit. Oh man, a World Heroes racing game would be sick. Uh, this game. The Black Sheep of the World Hero series. It's got some neat ideas. It's got a it's got a pretty unique uh, one player mode, I guess. But it's kinda This game kinda isn't remembered as fondly as the first two games and isn't played uh played anywhere near as much as perfect. Still the same button configuration from the previous World Heroes games. Three buttons. So you have to you have to hold the button to do heavy attacks. Do I still play FFRK? I, I log in and spend my stam on dailies, and that's about it. I do polls every now and then. I haven't really been doing the uh Whoa! I haven't really been doing the uh the endgame content. Another Noman gifting out five subs! Dude, that is very kind of you, Dan. Thank you very much for that. Enjoy anybody who caught us up. All right, entry to the tournament. This is the, uh, I guess, the story mode. Oh look, it's Hanzo. He's on top of the Sheraton. Hand is in the air. It means choke slam. So this game's got a weird format where uh, the first four days you play uh, you fight three characters in one round battles. So you only have to win two of the three rounds to move on. That's Hanzo up there, brother. So you can you can lose a round to one of these. I guess this was just a way to get uh, to get every character into the into the story mode. And so like gameplay wise, they kind of they kind of toned down some things from World Heroes 2. Like World Heroes 2 had these uh, these chain combos you could do by by tapping light punch. They took that those out. I win while I get that sporty card? God, I hope so. And the model's back there. Do you come with the car? Oh, you! <laughs> I guess the other thing they changed in the, uh, in the engine is that, uh... Uh, heavy normals actually do block damage in this game. Like, uh, like Mortal Kombat. Only heavy attacks, though. They kind of took that out in perfect. Ninja Leg Lariat, Jump Kick Cracker, Rekozun. Oh man, I got the idea from Shogun Warriors. Athlete admitted. We had to show, we had to show those sprites scaling up. All right, day two. So I, I, 
I don't really do fancy combos. I just do a lot of jump heavy kick, crouching heavy kick, because it does it does like 40% damage. Sometimes I'll go for a fireball DP shenanigans. You win. Yeah, I don't know why Shura goes, like, so high up in the air on that Muay Thai kick. He did that in two, also. Also, I like how they flop over face first when they, they get hit by the DP. Wow, the walk-up dragon kick. Cool. Totally not cheating. Yeah, they didn't put names on the health bars. They just assume you're gonna... You're gonna know them based off the portraits, I guess. I don't remember if they do that in versus mode. Maybe not. This music sucks. This is not 80k's strongest soundtrack. Did that helicopter scale up? I think it did. We are still pushing the scaling of the Neo Geo. He's Fuma Red! I don't know if that's like a super move. That's like a new move they gave him, and it looks like a super move. Double the school's on! Double Rekko's on. The normal moves have, like, really weird names, too, like the jump kick of Baboom. I need to finish with a jump kick. Oh, bonus game. Oh. I can't believe Hanzo's dead. <laughs> I should have done a jump kick, not a jump punch. Oh, well. There's, there's Ryoko. She's got a really good air grab. Yep. That's why I don't want to jump in. Come on, jump at me. Come on. I made a mistake. Ooh. Yeah, that intro was was Jay Karn and his babes. <laughs> I did a bunch of streams of Fatal Fury Special. I think I did it on the last Neo Geo stream, which was like four streams ago for 1CC BBH. Ooh, oh yeah, this game has clashes. I gotta kill with a jump kick. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to work my way through the Fatal Fury games. That's why I did three earlier, because I was... That's been holding me up before I can do the real bouts. Not that I have to do them in order, but it's a fun challenge. Oh god. Yo, that damage! Would it shock you if I told you that this game also damaged cheats? Especially on later stages. Koryuha! Bonk. Yo, that booty. Standing kick of chaos, jump kick cracker. What was the move of Baboom? Is it the jumping punch of Baboom? Alright. 
Last day of qualifiers. The big boys. This song is like almost a hot jam. Then it gets weird. Shit! He's got he's got an answer to the double jump. Clash. There we go. Ah. There we go. Far standing heavy kick, which is bufferable. That far standing heavy kick is actually bufferable. Which really weirds me out. Ain't gonna hit me. Shit. Grab him. Like some of the uh, the computer opponents, you can really confuse with Hanzo's double jump, which is why I'm using him. I have bad breath. Fist standing kick of chaos. Alright, then the game gets weird. Bufferable is when you cancel a, a normal move into a special move. So from here on out, all the fights are the regular two out of three rounds. And you always fight the same characters in the same order. They decided to give Captain Kidd a, a special intro. Because the only two characters of the original 14 I hadn't fought yet were him and, and the other Hanzo. Ugh. Shit. Oh, that didn't work. Shot the coup. Fuck. That did damage. Okay. Hmm, I see. Alright. More more jump kicks, apparently. Don't throw fireballs. Yeah, like, every hard kick I, I'm doing is like 20% damage. Damage is kind of high in this game. Yeah, ADK really, really like ninjas. Like, practically every one of their games has a ninja in it somewhere. Maybe not everyone. There weren't any ninjas in Overtop, I think. Oh, Hanzo mirror match. Just rank to victory to a one-way ticket to Pika- Oh. <laughs> they don't let you read all that in time. I forgot to pause it. A one-way ticket to Poughkeepsie. Hope you caught that. This is it. This is the finals. Oh my god, how could I not punish that? There we go. No, I didn't get the, the buffer. Shit. 
Oh yeah, I guess Twinkle Star Sprites didn't have one. Didn't have a ninja. Yeah, first they give a shout out to to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and now Poughkeepsie, New York. I I don't know. It's with these translators. Also, CPU Hanzo keeps doing this weird low jump like it's a hop. I have no idea how you do that. Nice, I missed. <laughs> Oh yeah, this game gives a shout out to De to Detroit also. I don't know if I need to show that. I win. That's you, pal. Call me Zeus, toots. Toots. Be invincible, immortal, and one really tonga muchacho. So you gotta fight the new characters. Fight. Gotta fight Jack the Ripper first. Ow, ow. They are normally selectable characters. They were the only two new characters in this game. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Jack, what are you doing? Get out of there. Oh my god, that crossed me up. I don't know how to punish that. Chip damage. Oh, one of his moves he doesn't have in Perfect. Yeah, they kind of took some moves out in Perfect, like, you know, J-Max doesn't have his Fireball. Oh god. Not a safe jump. Come on, get out of there. How do I punish that? Oh, when in doubt, go for the timer scan. Or not. and a good 300 kilo punch. Jack, you Jack. <laughs> this is Wiener. There's a lot of Neo Geo games that talk about Wieners. So long, Weenie King. Alright, double jumps confuse the fuck out of, uh, Ryofu. I got it perfect. And then when he's in the corner, he can't hit me with, uh, that one move. That was a double perfect. Totally not Souther. So, this is the last boss. This is Zeus. He does a shitload of damage, and he gets really scary when he's down to below 50% health. Also, this 
this background has some annoying screen dimming going on. If you need to look away, I understand. Shit. Not like this. Oh god. Let me get him to jump. Oh no, he's gonna... Okay. Ooh, okay. Now, I gotta try to win the next round with this, as much health as possible. Easier said than done. It's a good start. God damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna give up this round. Two hits. And the fight's even. I should have done DP there. It would have worked, I think. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Okay, is that good enough? So there's, there's three different endings you can get. I'll see if I got the good one. Might be enough. Yeah, he hit me with a low jab and it did 20% damage. What the fuck? Monster. Ah, we didn't get the best ending. Shit. I thought that'd be enough health. So they made it so that the ending you get is based on how much health you have in the winning round when you beat them. And this is all I get. Your twilight time. Thank you for playing! No, no character specific ending, no nothing. You practically have to get a perfect. I don't know if I should try to save state it. I mean, I got the legit ending, right? I did a full run without, uh, without, like, using save states, right? That's, that counts. That's a, that's a legit 1cc. How does it calculate your score? It takes an average of, uh, of your score from each round. If you lose a round, it gives you zero points for that round. Where are my save states? I think this was second round. That stupid fucking move. If I take one hit, it's all over. Who decided this was a good idea to make the ending based off uh, how much health you have on a on a boss that can do like 30% damage with one move? Good God! That was a, that was a jab. That was a jab. You don't have to get it perfect, but it's got to be close to it. I don't like throwing fireballs because he has a, a tendency to, like, walk forward and hit you. When he does it. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so this is the best possible ending. And I never saw this in the arcade. I had no idea how you even, like, got different endings. I got, like, the worst ending the first time I, I finished this. And it wasn't a 1cc either. And so it made me think, like, oh, I probably have to finish the game on one credit to get the best ending. Surely that's what I was missing. But it was not. You crazy funster. Uh. Let's get back to doing some evil stuff. And, um, uh, yeah. Where did Ryofu go? Why was it only Jack? And so this is the only way to get this fucking cracked row ass ending with all these... These symbols that they drew pixel art for that don't appear anywhere else in the game. They did market research for this? Bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Design tool programmer. This is the only way to get the staff roll, too. You have to... You have to kill the last boss with, like, at least, like, 80% health. Oh, there were coins from Cross Swords in there? 777. Seven, seven. I guess I wanted to make a slot machine game. The floating 300. <laughs> was that a naked bug? What the fuck was that? But yeah, they put in all this all this effort in this fucking Cracktro ending and then Nobody would ever see this shit. It's so weird. I mean, I didn't see this until way after the fact. Like I said, I didn't I didn't see this when I when I like credit fed through this in the arcade. I got one of those bad endings, and it's like, oh, what did I do wrong? It's not very clear. WH2 Jet. Whoosh! But even then, like, it's... You don't get, like, a... Character-specific endings or anything. So there's, like, all these, uh... All these character-specific endings that they just threw into the garbage from World Heroes 2. They just went all in on this weird, uh... This weird story mode thing. Yeah! 